Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Well, whether you're a boxer or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete. Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, and dating to 2016, a lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A., and when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship in the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I will take part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Good push. Leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Good job. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. The takedown is not there. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Three 
three minutes to go here, round one. That was a beautiful head kick. Oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. Just out of range with the big right hand. Back and forth we go. And misses with the right hand. Beautiful play shot to the leg. Ooh. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, nice kick. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Nice uppercut on the inside there. starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Oh my goodness. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. with that big right hand. Beautiful connection, Lance. Fighting long is the key. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. One minute. I need you to work now. Slips the shot. opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Oh, back and forth we go. Ooh, big knee. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Now standing back and forth first round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Okay. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right. Ahead. Round two. All right. Slips the punch. Quick jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight right hand now just misses. Head kick partially blocked. Don't let him get that double jab out. Open counter. Oh, good work with the jab there. Don't back up. Watch 
champ. I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you... Oh! oh this could do it. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Slip that one. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Uppercut is true! Oh, he got hit again. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fight. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final goal. Look at that. Way to hide that leg kick. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Big kick lands. 30 seconds in the round. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ten minutes Stop. in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Nice 
Nice block. All right hook attempt, no good. Connects with a beautiful jab. Both guys appear to land there. Well, he'll need some Motrin in the morning, but at least in terms of the present, he's got to figure out a way to stop these body shots and get back in the... Oh! Oh! Straight punch is true. Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Apex. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the